Hello, love. I want to talk about a very common misconception in uh, modernized yoga systems, like whitewashed <laughs> colonial uh, paradigm infused yoga systems. Uh, and that misconception is the relationship between the inhale and the exhale. So maybe you've been taught, maybe you've even uh, thought that yourself. I have. So this is not like a, oh, you're doing it wrong. It's a kind of, let's investigate and see if we can find something that is uh, closer to the truth. Maybe you've, where was I? Yeah, been taught that kind of the exhale, the exhale is the, the, the passive, the relaxation, the yin energy, and that the inhale is the active, um, the more kind of yang, yang kind of uh, has a more yang quality to it. But actually, it is the other way around. It is the other way around. That the, the inhale, the inhale is the passive. The in, the in breath is the passive motion. It is the returning to formlessness. It is the moving inward. It is the taking in, the closing of the eyes and the ears and the mouth and the nose. It is the going into a more inward self, like a more of a reflective state, the inhale. And the exhale, the exhale is the outward movement. The exhale is the active. The exhale is the opening of the eyes and the ears and the nose and the mouth and the skin. It is the moving into the world. The exhale is the expression. It is moving into form. And maybe now when I'm, say, when I'm sharing it like this, you're like, yeah, <laughs> of course. But... In many like modern systems, it's completely the other, like the, it, it is taught in the opposite way. And why this, why I feel that is, it's really important to begin to investigate this in yourself is because maybe you have moments when you feel like you, like you can't inhale, like you can't inhale, like, oh. Your breath is very shallow. Maybe it is because you haven't exhaled. Maybe it is because there is something inside of you that wants to be expressed, wants to take form. So to first exhale, take form, create, sing, dance, make sounds, paint, draw, speak, express. And then once that exhale is complete, there is a natural ah, in-breath, a natural moving back in, moving inward. Ah. And when that is complete, which means pretty much means that when you are full, <sighs> comes the exhale. And another thing to, to consider is that, so oftentimes maybe when we speak about active and expression and yang, we... Uh, how do you say it? connect or couple that with being productive, which is, it's not at all about being productive or 
um, reaching some goals or achieving something. No, it, it is about really this raw, pure expression. Raw, pure expression. Um, and as I said, that could be through, it could even be like just through random sounds. Like if you lay down to relax and you feel like you, you can't breathe. Ah. That. Ah. Oh. And then something shifts because whatever was inside of you is exhaled, expressed into the world. I mean, it does make sense, doesn't it? The inhale is the taking in. And taking in is to be passive. Like in this moment when you are watching me or listening to, to me talking, you're actually passive. You're taking in. You're taking in. And whatever I am saying or whatever you pick up from here, it might even be from my words, it could be from my movements or something you see around me, you take that in and that will become something and it be, will become something that is colored by your own inner experience and then when the time comes you exhale it back out into the world and it's it it has it has changed slightly so you it might be that you're listening to me and you're like whoa this was so interesting i want to share this with my students or i want to share this with my friend and then so you take it in and you allow it to be colored by your uh, own inner experiences and then you release it back out. You exhale, you exhale it into the world. Um, yeah. Is there anything else I want to say about this? Yeah. Something, yeah, another thing is that that so to, to consider this, like when you feel full, you feel full and heavy and maybe you feel tired because you're carrying, like you're, you're so, uh, and it might be that you use the words that you feel depleted, but sometimes that, that like, like tiredness and that heaviness, it's time for my lunch, my belly tells me, um, I did actually prioritize this before because I really needed to exhale this <laughs> um, before I could take in any food. Yeah, so sometimes when you feel heavy and tired, it's because you're full. You're so full. You haven't exhaled. You haven't expressed. So how can you express what is inside of you? How can you empty yourself out? Paint, draw, dance, sing, create, um, move, so that you can be empty for the next in-breath when you're moving back in or when you're taking in. Mm. Yeah. And I actually, I actually think it's, in a way, it's very strange because we live in a culture that's very productive, like so productive. But I also believe that, that sometimes that productivity is not really expressing what it is. It's like this kind of almost automatic, robotic uh, kind of thing that we're doing uh, and we're constantly still full because that that <clears throat> exhale needs to be some is it's 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 of a different quality. It's of a different quality. And maybe you've noticed, I mean I've noticed that so much. That's why I kind of I had to do this now. Because if I have I take in colours and words and movements and all the things like we're constantly taking in, taking in. And that, that then creates something inside of me that wants to be expressed outward. And, and if, I, if I don't express it, like 
No, that's not what I wanted to say. Yes, it, if I don't express it, it becomes this heaviness and it kind of, it starts to build and it starts to build and it starts to build. But then as soon as I begin to express, I notice, whoa, there was so much inside. And it just kind of, it wants to continue, it wants to continue, and it wants to continue, and it wants to continue. And then comes the evening and the night time and the early mornings when uh, going inward. Uh, yeah. Let me know where this landed. Where this, how, did, how did this land? Is it something that you've reflected upon? What has been like your, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm curious what, what you took in and what wants to come out from that. Yeah. Okay, my love, take care of yourself.